Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob Wall. I am the marketing and sales representative here at Wall to Wall Software. And today we're going to be talking about how you can have a grid within a grid. Now, in order to do this, we're going to be using a component called the TWW Expander. This is a component that you can find within our product Firepower, which uses a, uh, the library of FireMonkey. Now, the TWW Expander can be used for a variety of purposes, but we're going to be specifically using it to link um, two tables. So we have our master grid and our detail grid, and we're using the TWW Expander to connect both of those. So let's look at an example with our demo of Firepower. Now you can find this uh, example, this demo, if you have our trial of Firepower or if you have our product. So open up the demo, run the program, and let's go to the data grid walkthrough, go to master detail grid, and then this is going to pop up. And here's exactly what I was uh, telling you guys earlier is that we have our master data grid right here. But then if I click the expand button, I now have my details data grid. So this master detail grid, because it has both, is using the TWW expander to connect both data grids. So let's look at how you can do that and implement that to your own database. So as with any project, what we need to do is we need to go to file, we need to click on new, and then we need to go to multi-device application. I already have mine open, so we're gonna go to that. But what I need to do for this example is I need to add a TFD mem table and I'm gonna load in some of my own demo data. But if you have your own data that, that you already have implemented, make sure to just use that to connect to that. And then let's, let's just rename this just so it's a little bit easier to understand. I'm gonna change my FD mem table to the master table. And then I'm gonna add a bind source. I just right click on my master table. And then I'm gonna change this name to master data. So we have both of those. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a TWW data grid, which is also within our product Firepower. I drop this data grid here. I'm gonna align this to the client. Therefore it fills up the whole screen. And then I'm gonna connect the data source to my master data. But it's not gonna load in yet because I need my data. So let's go to the master table, load from file. And I already have this here. I'm going to add in my customers and then all of these show. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to add the, actually we won't even add the TW expander. We need to add another data grid. So let's add a TFD mem table. This is for the details. And then I'm going to change that as well. We're going to um, change the name to details data or details table. And then I'm going to add a bind source. We'll change the name of that as well to details data. Now what I will do now is I'm going to add my next, uh, my other data grid that I want to add. So we'll add another TWW data grid. And then I'm going to click on this and I'm going to make the data source go to my details data. And same thing as last time, I need to go to my details table. I need to load from file. And we're going to add the details for in this case. And for this instance, it is the invoices. So I'm going to add the invoices. Now we can use the TWW Expander, which again is in our product Firepower. We use a TWW Expander. Now what we need to make sure that we do is we need to make sure that we have our data grid, our details data grid in the WW expander. So it, it, we need to, we can do this by going to the structure and then just dragging this into the WW expander. And now it's really easy for me to align this data grid to the client and it goes to the client. Oh, excuse me. That's not the client it goes to the client of my WW expander. So I can now then if I wanted to, I can widen the expander 
And then if it doesn't update right away, just press F12 and F12 again. And then you're going to see that it just expands to the client of the expander. Now, a few more steps before we have it all taken care of is we need to add a T data source. This is very important. Without this, you cannot connect both of these data grids. So I'm going to change this name to DS master because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to data set and I am going to add the master table. Last few things that we just need to do is we need to go to our details table. We need to now connect our DS master, right? Because the DS master is connected to the master table. And then I'm going to go to master fields and I'm going to use custno, customer number, but custno for short. I'm going to add that to the included fields. I'm going to press OK because this is a common field that both of these data uh, data grids, uh, data tables um, have and that you're able to connect to. And so we're going to do the same thing then for index field names. I'm going to add custno. I'm going to press OK. All right, so a few little steps. It can even be easier for you if you already have your data grids and you don't have to add the TFD mem tables. One last thing we need to do is we need to make sure we go to edit columns and we're going to click on Custno, right? Because this is already the common field that we have been using. And our, uh, so we need to click on Custno and then we're going to go to custom control and we need to make sure we have that selected on the expander. Now you can just see right here, we already have all the expander icons. We can get rid of this and we run the program. And we should have a beautiful data grid within a data grid. So I have my customer number. This is all the customer from uh, all the customer's orders. And then we have this one, which will have different orders, right? 1173. This is all connected, right? We have customer number 1351, customer number 1231. So that's how we're able to have a data grid within a data grid by using the TWW expander. The TWW expander can be used for a variety of purposes, like I mentioned before, but this is just one way how you can be able to connect both data grids and have a master detail grid. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And also make sure to check out our last video that we've posted about the TWW search box. So we hope you enjoy this video and are just able to see what you can do. Just another component that you can do within our product Firepower that uses the library of FireMonkey. So stay tuned for more videos and I hope to see you next time.